Hi guys, it's me Morgan. I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, this is a pretty large haul, so we're going to just jump right in. And I'm going to start with food, because it's just what I have next um, to me at the moment. First, I picked up a loaf of Honey Wheat Nature's Own. It is... Well, it just says it's a nature's own bread product. So, but this is the type of bread we use around here, and it is expensive in the grocery store. It's like 3 or $4 a loaf. So when I can find the bread truck has stopped by and had that on there, I usually pick up a couple of loaves. Unfortunately, there was only a couple of loaves there, and I didn't want to take them all. So I just took one. Next, I picked up, and these were wish lists. Um, they are the Hint. But they have the caffeine kick. Um, I picked up two of the apple and pear. These are 16 fluid ounces. And it says right here, the ingredients is purified water, natural flavors, and natural caffeine from coffee beans. So anything that's natural caffeine, I am here for it. If it will focus. Hello. There we go. So I picked up two in the apple pear, and then I picked up two in the black raspberry, but I drank one at work the other day, because I've been riding this around for a hot minute now. Um, but this is the black raspberry. It is the same thing. It has 60 milligrams of caffeine. So 16 fluid ounce. I was super excited that I found these in one of my stores. Next. I purchased the good old Baker's Harvest Chicken Crackers. My daughter and my husband love these. They love to snack on them. Um, it is a product of Canada. It is a 7 ounce box. They love these, so I pick them up every now and then. I don't always buy them because they do get burned out on them, but I tend to buy them um, from there instead of, you know, 4 or $5 at Walmart or Walgreens or something like that. Next, I picked up two of the Haribo Funtastic Mix. It says sweet and playful. It says it's new. I don't know how new it is, but the gummies in here are really squishy. And it says, of course, it just has different types of um, shapes and stuff in here, different sizes. So, like those are different options you can get as well. And I just picked up two of these because my son will love these. He loves anything that says new on it. He just says, I don't know. And then I picked up these for my daughter. They are Hairball Gold Bears Summer Edition. They are new fruity flavors. It is a four ounce package. And you get... Peach, cherry, lime, watermelon, mango, and passion fruit in these. And again, they're squishy. Anytime I buy gummies, I have this thing about squishing them because if they're too hard, I know they're stale and I'm not a big fan of extra hard gummies. So, next I picked up two 0 0.6 ounces of freeze dried mixed fruit. This is by So Natural. They are gluten free, no preservatives, and natural, um, no GMOs. And I actually got these to put in my overnight oats because if you put um, dehydrated uh, fruits in it, by the time it soaks up in the morning, they are nice and moist, for lack of a better word. But they are great little add ins because I love fruit in my. Um, oats but if you do overnight oats and you put like fresh fruit in it sometimes they get way too mushy and it's not a pleasant texture so I picked up two of these and it looks like there's gonna be bananas strawberries and blackberries so. and then I picked up I actually picked up a couple of these but um, my daughter ate some 
They are so natural. They are the freeze dried strawberries. And these, these are like whole strawberries in here. And y'all, they are good. We snacked on them while we were out shopping one day. And they are good. But I bought this bag to try in my oats as well. So, and this is a 0 0.6 ounce as well. Next, I picked up another four pack of this um, nacho cheese jalapeno cheese sauce. They look like little pudding cups. Um, you don't microwave them in here, but you can put them in um, a little small dish and microwave them that way. And I actually dip the um, Dollar Tree pretzels, the soft baked pretzels, I dip them in those. It's, they're real good. I highly recommend those. And my daughter picked up these Mike and Ike's. This one is root beer float. Best Buy 7 of 2022. This is a five ounce box. And then she also picked up this Mike and Ike cotton candy. I like the nostalgic look of these. Like these would be cute in a gift basket. So, apparently we were hungry when we went shopping. And then I picked up three of these, but these are different. And I actually probably will get more when I go back because I went to the store the other day um, to get a sandwich from a gas station down the road for lunch. And I bought one of these as like a little sweet treat. And I paid, I looked at my receipt, I paid $2.49 for it. Dollar Tree has these for a dollar. They are good. This is by Seven Days. They are soft croissants. This one is with chocolate cream filling. This one is with strawberry and vanilla filling. And then this one is just vanilla filling. Y'all, this bread is so, the croissant is so fluffy and delicious. I highly recommend these. Um, this one is good until July 30th of 2021. This one is July 10th of 2021. And this one is August 3rd of 2021. So I highly recommend you trying those out for a little. And they're not horrible considering they're sweet treats in 340 calories. So not great, but not bad. And then I've seen some people haul these and I never really paid attention to these, but I decided I wanted to give them a try. They are the Minis by Global Brand. This is an eight pack. It is the vanilla yogurt, peach yogurt, strawberry yogurt, and blueberry yogurt um, cookies. I hadn't realized that they were yogurt. I just thought they were different flavored. Um, fillings. I didn't realize it was yogurt fillings. But it says Greek style yogurt cream sandwich cookies. You get two packs of each. So, yeah. I thought those were kind of cool. Alright. That is it for food. Next we will go to party supplies. And I have just this really pink iridescent looking gift bo uh, box. Nothing fancy. Just these are always good to put um, small little gifts in. So I just really like this one. I thought it was pretty. It caught my attention. And then I don't know if y'all remember, but a couple of hauls back, I hauled a banner um, for my friend. Her um, son's first birthday is a couple months away, and she wants to do a Holy Cow Walkers 1 theme. So I picked up the banner in case she wanted it. And then I found plates. Look how cute these are. They are adorable. Um, you get 10 in each, and I found two, so we may have to get plain if she wants to use these. But, I mean, if not, I can use them around here. Kids will love them around here, so no big deal. And then I found these. I have not seen these before, so, and I went through all of them. These were the only ones I've seen. Um, but this one is inflatable balloon, but it's a rainbow. It is 22 inches long. Look how cute that is. And it's just one of those, like they do the numbers with the straw, which some of those are hit and miss. Um, the zeros I tend to have problems with, but if you tape it 
as soon as you pull a straw out there, they work. So if you've used them before and had a hard time with them, that's what I recommend doing. Um, but this one is a rainbow. This one is a lovely unicorn, and this is 20 inches tall. This one is a mermaid tail, and it is 20.5 inches tall. Look at these colors. I love these. And then for all the little boys in our lives, here's a dinosaur. That is 23.5 inches. So these are great little add-ons for a buck for a little kid's birthday. I'm super excited about these. Like Dollar Tree, where were you at when my kids were little? Hmm, where were you? Apparently not as cool as you are now. I picked up one bag. It is a happy birthday bag, but it has like this gold foil. And it's a decent size bag. It is a product of Voila. This is what the side looks like. It has all these little geometric shapes and these really pretty covers. And then the back isn't foil or anything. It's just plain. So you can leave it like this or you can turn it this way. But I just, this really caught my eye. I love the colors they chose. So there's that. Oh, and the ribbon on this is a really pretty blue shape. But can you see that? I love that color. I, thought, I think that's a great choice um, for the color of ribbon. Okay, that is it for. Uh oh. Um, party. Sorry, guys, I dropped stuff. I didn't mean to bend down and stuff. Okay, so next is household and stuff like that, which if you watch my videos, you know what this is, but for the new ones, um, I'm going to explain. So, household for me is random. It is a little bit of everything that um, just really doesn't have its own good category, so I just smush them together. So, with that being said, I charged it. Sorry, Moose. One of the cups just rolled away and hit my dog in the face. But I picked up one of these 75 ounce water jugs. I cannot get over this. This is a flamingo. It says tropical life. It has the pink linen straw. And then right here is where it says it's 75 ounce tumbler for a dollar. Um, I already hauled one. It's actually sitting right here. Um, me and my daughter are going to use these for the pool this summer. Put lemonade or water or soda if we want soda, which I tend to drink more water and lemonade in by the pool because you get so dehydrated but and she really likes flamingos i've said it before and you know 75 ounce cup for a buck yes i'm for it and then i picked up this i really don't know what i'm gonna do with this i might just keep it and save it for somebody's birthday or something i don't know but it is a it is bpa free and it just has a party cup or goblet but it is Darth Vader for all you Star Wars fans there's a glare and I can't get it to go away I'm so sorry but it is Darth Vader and it has and, oh yeah. let me just take this off really quick okay there we go and then this just screws off so I just thought it was cute for a dollar I can put it back in my party section my, my party tote and uh, my birthday tote, not party, birthday tote. And I will give it to someone for the birthday. All right, next I have, I picked up two of these meal prep containers. It, or I picked up one, but it's a two-piece. Um, I love these. They are they don't have a divide or anything, so it's nice if I have, like, a salad or something like that to take to work. And they, they, they hold up well. So, and they are pretty expensive if you get them from anywhere else. I need to calm down. I'm all over the place. Next, I picked up, this is a repurchase, um, the Brillo Basics Cleaning Wipes. In the... Citrus scent. Um, you get 40 wipes. Um, I like to keep these kind of things on the counter. Like, actually over here, I have some Clorox wipes. And on this side of the counters that you can't see... Um, I keep a thing of Lysol wipes and then I'm going to start keeping these too um, because it's nice to wipe off the counter before I cook 
because I do have cats and we all know if you have cats, you know the struggle of keeping them off your counter is real. Like they just do not care what you say. Um, so I like to clean up my counters before I cook and then I also like to clean up, of course, after I cook. So these are great because you don't have to spray a bunch of chemicals around and I just like these. And I actually have the bathroom ones in my kids' bathroom and mine and we just clean ever so often just to in between deep, deep cleaning. Dean, stop it. Next, I picked up this grill scrubber heavy duty scoring sponge. Um, it is by Karazi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But this is what it looks like, and it is a name brand. So this part is a spongy part that you hold on to to clean it. Um, and I've seen people haul these before, but my store has not had them. And this particular store I went to finally had them. So I decided I'd grab one and give it a try. It is grilling season. Um, I love to grill. I love it because I can sit outside, enjoy the sun, um, and just unwind after a day of work. And then when I come home from work, I take the dogs for a walk. So it's always nice. And this is made in Mexico. So I don't know how well it's going to work, but it feels like it's well made. It feels like it's a good product. And then last in home decor, houseware, that kind of stuff, are these two gold and white 5x7 frames. Whoops. Um, my daughter wanted these. She likes to take and draw on the inside of the glass. She'll... Or, She'll trace something on the glass and then she'll paint it. But um, it is a five by seven and it does have where you can hang it this way or this way, or you can sit it up this way or this way. So she just liked these and that's what she chose. Hang on a second, guys. I'm sorry. I got to move the chair that my stuff is sitting on. Next is makeup and there is a lot of it. A lot. And there's some good finds. I'm so excited about some of these finds. There's wish list, wish list. There's name brand. There is everything. So first off, I found this Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow. It is in the color Nutty. So I just purchased it. Um, Actually, all the makeup I wear most of the time, I purchase from Dollar Tree. So, um, and I like this color. It is a very soft brown, we'll say. So, and I didn't see any other colors. There probably was, but on this particular day, I was kind of in a hurry. So, I just grabbed this. This is a wish list. I hauled the men's lotion a while back, but now I found this one is Nuvent. Nouvelle Intense Care Body Lotion Moisturizes Dry Skin, Softens Skin, Deep Penetrating Moisture, Fast Absorbing. It is a 16.9 fluid ounce bottle. This is a big bottle, y'all. It is big. And it is a name brand. And I'm super excited. I'm just going to keep this by my bed. Um, and lotion my arms or, you know, sometimes my legs get all scaly and itchy. Someone's weed eating next door and I heard the noise and I was like, what the heck? Anyway, so I'm super excited about this. Um, I, I love it. I mean, a dollar for name brand and a big bottle. You cannot go wrong. Another name brand and wish list. Told you this was a good one. This is L'Oreal. It is new air dry it. Ruffled Body Mousse, Heat Free Style Frizz resi Resistant. This is by L'Oreal. This is an 8.3 fluid ounce. And I apologize for the glare. The sun is coming in right in these um, my French doors over here. So it's making it a little difficult. But I got this for my daughter. Um, obviously, I have curls myself, but I don't use mousse in my hair. I use a... Um, Anyway, it's a long story, but my daughter 
doesn't really do much to her hair. She kind of keeps it just natural. She doesn't like to blow dry it. She doesn't like to straighten it. But she said she would like to try this because it is air dry. You do not have to dry your hair with this. Some mousses, they ask you or they recommend to, to blow dry it in and diffuse it in. And she just, you know, mm -mm. you're lucky if you get her to brush it sometimes. So, there's that. Look, already three things. For makeup and all three of them were name brand and all three of them were wish lists no i lied the first one was not wish list because i didn't know it existed all right this is again name brand and this was a mega wish list like super wish list um it is the bath and beauty brand it is the miss my my cellar water um, it says cleanses and hydrates, all in one, no rinsing, no alcohol, no residue, all skin types, even sensitive. Gently removes makeup and impurities. Um, I got one for my daughter, and then two for me. Or maybe one for my daughter, one for me, maybe one for a gift. I don't know yet. Um, it depends on how much I go through. I currently am using the Garnier, um, and it is like five or six dollars for a bottle if not more i really don't remember but name brand for a dollar and this is a eight fluid ounce bottle so if it works i'm going to be super excited and i've heard great things about it so we will see all right i found this satin eye mask and it is um it was with the mother's day stuff but I think it's really pretty. It's this lovely purple with flowers. They had a pink option too. Um, and it's fuzzy on the back. But I actually bought this because I've been noticing I wear, don't make fun of me y'all, but I wear a satin cap to sleep because um, it helps protect your oils and your curls that help keep them fresh. Um, and if you don't know, I've been trying to bring my curls back. I've straightened my hair since I was 10 years old. I am now 32. Um, so I have not straightened my hair for a year and they've, they've, they've made one heck of a comeback. Maybe one day I'll post a before and after, but, um, I noticed that sometimes my sleep cap falls down in front of my eyes and I've got to the point to where I pull it down there. So I want to give this a try. Maybe that'll help me sleep. And if not, I'm sure I can use it, um, give it to somebody if they want it. No big deal. But. I thought I'd give it a whirl. Next, I picked up this green loofah. Um, it has this rainbow stripe. And this is from The Bathory. This is a name brand because it says right here, exclusively at Target. And we all know we bought it from the Dollar Tree. Um, this store had green, but also one of my other stores has a purple and a blue but I just picked the green because you know you're supposed to change these every 30 days and mine's due so it's really soft and squishy I like this one it's it's nice next I picked up a name brand item this is wet and wild fast dry it is this lovely blue color or blue <laughs> black color um, what are you doing? Okay, but <clears throat> told you my neighbors were weed eating, but it's this black, um, and I love a blue, a good black shade, and I keep on wanting to say blue because I'm trying to tell y'all that there was a blue as well, um, but I didn't get it. I uh, kind of wish I did, so maybe I'll... Maybe they'll have it when I go back. But the color is Ebony Hates Chris. Like, that is legit the name, if I can get the camera to focus. There we go. Ebony Hates Chris. So, I love a good black fingernail polish. I picked up, this is a repurchase, a personal care um, shave cream. This is Lavender, Laver, Lavender and Jasmine. This is paraben free. It is a seven fluid ounce bottle. And it says up here compared to EO shave cream. And y'all, 
I am here to tell you that it does compare to it for a dollar. I keep one in stock at all times. Like right now, I'm using this one. And my backup one is the pink one, which is like raspberry or something. But this is um, not tested on animals. It is a Delta brand made in Turkey. So, y'all, this don't say nothing about being a Greenbrier product. I always just assumed this was a Greenbrier line. But it doesn't say it. It says that. So, I don't know. But it is amazing. I highly highly suggest this and then I picked up this shave gel it is pure silk it is the coconut and oat flower and honestly I got it just because I'm a sucker for shave or for uh, coconut like I will forever love this but you know maybe my daughter will want to use this one I don't know we'll see but um, it is a five ounce bottle and it is a um, name brand product as well if you care next I picked up this global beauty care lift and firm eye cream with collagen and peptides depuffing and tightening helps reduce signs of aging 15 minute eye therapy it is a 0.5 ounce tube um, it is cruelty free so I just got it to try out I'm always looking for something to help and I can't get a good angle on it but so and I really like the um, global beauty care line it's really nice Oops. go I'm I apologize guys for some reason he thinks he needs to run in and out every time I'm filming Next, I picked up another one of these Milani Retouch and Erase Concealers in Medium Light. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and grab another one. It does have the sponge applicator up here. So, this is a name brand. And I, I like the um, this. I bought one a while back and I just started using it and I really like it. It goes on nice and smooth. It conceals very nicely. It um, takes away the dark lines underneath my eyes. I like it. Next, I picked up this Wet n Wild Natural Blend Lip Shimmer in the... It says sugar. So, well, maybe. I just thought, it kind of made me think it was like one of those lip so soft things. So, let's, let me open it and see. Lexus, will you get me a... Um, that might do the fridge, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In case you didn't know, my daughter was standing behind the camera watching. <laughs> Thank you. I'm extremely parched. I can't get this... There we go. Hmm. Let me get a drink and we will see what this looks like. Okay. So again, this is what it looks like. Oh, it is. Look, it's a... Uh... I don't have nothing on A little bit of color, a little bit of gloss. It's not bad at all. If you see this, get this, guys. It's nice. Hmm. Okay. Moving on. You have a chunk of it right there. Mm -mm, right here. Well, let's see here. There you go. Okay. Next, I picked up two of these limited edition Wet n Wild Mega Glow Face Mist. So, this is a one point fluid ounce bottle. Not tested on animals. 
And it is called Aurora Boost. On both of them. So, this was also a wish list item and name brand. So, woo! Okay. Next up, I just picked up this Max Block Sunscreen 30 Sport. Um, just lotion to put in my um, travel bag for when we go to my mom's swimming and stuff. So, Green Bar always carries these. Or, Dollar Tree always carries those. Then, I picked up this, and this was a wish list as well. It is Wet n Wild, and it is called Cashmere Love. It is a Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Eyeshadow. And it's this really pretty bronze color. And it, like I said, it's called Cashmere Love. So, I'm excited about this. I wanted to find it. Next, I picked up this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Eyeshadow Trio. Um, limited edition in the colors Jade. So, you get this really pretty white. And then you get a really dark glittery green and you get another green that's just a little bit lighter so this was a wish list as well I found some goodies this time around guys I'm so pumped I picked up another one of these wet and wild photo focus stick foundations in the color porcelain um these will run you for four bucks at Walmart and CVS and stuff like that but I found it at my Dollar Tree for a dollar and I do um I have used the one I purchased a while back and I do like it it goes on really smooth it blends well it's nice so there's that I picked up two of these so uh, soak off nail caps I went ahead and picked up two because of course there is five in each and you have you know ten fingers so you Soak a cotton ball in your preferred acetone nail polish remover. Insert, insert cotton ball into cap. Gently slide finger into cap, allowing the nail to soak. Wait three to five minutes. Gently remove cap from finger and wash your hands. Throw away the cotton ball and rinse the cap. I just wanted to give this a try. Um, just to see how it works. And I feel like it would also be really good if you um, have on fake nails and you take them off and sit it in the acetone to help get the excess glue off. So... I just wanted to pick those up. And I've seen them before, but for some reason I keep passing on them. And this time I said, no, your girl's going to get it. Because I want to try. Alright. Next, I picked up this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water. It says Prep, Set, and Refresh. It is a 0 0.67 fluid ounce. It is cruelty free. Um, and it is called Rose Addiction. But this is a name brand. And I didn't know this was out. So, I was pretty excited when I did find it. I'm always excited when I find things I didn't know was out. It's like a little hidden gem. So. But again, it says prep. Prep, set, and refresh. Alright. Alright. Next, I picked up one of these silicone facial mask applicators. Um, it got kind of screwed up in the bag. But I just picked up this peach. My um, mask applicator broke recently, and I've been waiting for them to bring this back out. It is by Sassy and Chic, and these are a great deal for a buck. Um, they come in all kinds of different colors. I just bought this one because it doesn't, you can't really tell it, but it's like this really pretty coral color. And then I picked up this Pond's Light Moisturizer, formulated by the Pond's Institute, Vitamin E and Glycerin, for soft and glowing skin. It is a 75 milliliter, which is a 2.53 fluid ounce. Um, I love Pond's products, so I found it and I thought it was neat. Next up, I purchased two more of these hats. Um, by Anvil. See this one says Anvil. And then this one says it like this. But I picked up a black and a white. Um, can't go wrong with a good solid hat. 
And, you know, I'll probably end up cricketing something on here, but I picked them up because I'm, you know what? With my short haircut, I really like um, baseball caps on right now. I don't know why, but I do. And they have these nice little buckles. And I, I these are heavy duty. I like them. All right. Next, I picked up this lan uh, lanyard by Juncture. It is this really pretty floral print. I think it's so pretty. And it just has a little um, clasp. Maybe. Got to be smarter than the thing, apparently. Alright, I don't know. Hmm. There we go. So, just clasps. I just thought it was pretty. And then last in this category is, doesn't even belong in this category, but it is just an eyeglass pouch. It has little rainbows. It's got the lid. Because I recently bought a pair of sunglasses to keep in my purse instead of my car because I always forget my sunglasses in my car and then I get in my husband's car and I don't have sunglasses so this way I'll have them they'll be in my purse smart next is crafter square I promise guys we are getting down to the nitty-gritty here um first off I just picked up this little chalkboard sign um I don't really know what I want to do with it yet but they usually carry these I just picked up one I figured I'll do some sort of little craft with it. No big deal. I'm running out of room. These, y'all, these are absolute love. Love, 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 love. Okay, let me get them all together. Okay, so they have this new category under the um, floral garden ribbon. Um, they are calling it farmhouse ribbon. And let me show you. I picked up two of each. I picked up one for my personal use and one for our girls craft night tote. I picked up this amazing sunflower. Look at this. I immediately think of fall crafts. I love it. You get nine feet. So, there's that one. Then you get this classic white and black polka dot. You get nine feet as well. And then you get, they went and gave you this really pretty lemon. Like this, I've already got so many different crafts going through my head right now. You got nine feet of this as well. Then you get this really pretty, like, faux burlap in black lines. I just, screams rustic farmhouse. Um, I can't wait. Nine feet as well. And then this one. My farmhouse girls, you're going to love it. You are going to love it. Look. Barns, cows, pigs, chickens, the sun, sunflowers. I mean, it is a black and a cream, and you get nine feet as well. Super excited about those. Next, I picked up just three of the little crafter square arrows you can DIY. I plan on doing some sort of little sign like you know how you see the signs and it's got like this way one way this way so i don't know exactly what i thought about maybe doing something firework wise like fireworks this way or um i don't know i don't know it's still a work in progress i picked up this adhesive cork board i'm actually going to make a chore chart for my son on this um because i've done figured it out if i was to do a dry erase board he'd just erase it so, this way, he can't. 
erase it. It'll be tacked in there, and I'll know. So, there's that. And then I just picked up another one of these reef rings um, to add to the craft collection for the girls' craft night. No, nothing there. I just like to pick them up when I find them. All right, and next up is Memorial Day, Labor Day, 4th of July, that type of thing. I picked up one, two, three, four, five of these fantastic foam scatters. You get the red, the blue, and the white stars. I mean, look how gorgeous. This just screams America. And I'm going to put these in my tear tray. They are glittery, so be careful. Beware. Next up, I just picked up two of these um, little banners. They have the metal hangers. I'm going to hang these across my porch. They are, you know, fairly thin, so they probably won't last one season, but for a buck, I'm okay with it. I'm running out of room. Uh oh. Okay. Let me get a drink. And then last off in that category, I bought this welcome sign. It is one of the long ones. It has a little bit of glitter, not a whole lot. But I thought this would look great on my porch. So there's that. And they had a blue one too. Um, but I just really like this red one, which is a really weird thing for me because I usually am not a fan of red. Next up is outdoors. And I, guys, I promise I'm trying to hurry. I picked up two of these solar um, lights. I picked up this cute little frog for my house. And I picked up the sloth for my friend Amanda. But how cute are they? You just turn them on and you set them outside and let them soak up the sun. And then their little bug eyes will light up. I picked up two more of the planter trays with the wheels. So again, thank you so much to whoever told me about these because I did not know they existed. And now I'm finding them everywhere. So, but I bought, I have four of the big planters, so I needed four. So I found two more. I have one item in pet and it is this doggy treat puzzle. Play hide and seek with your pup and hence your pup's IQ. Find your favorite treat. So you hide treats in some of them and then not in the others. I don't know how well this is going to work. But I thought it would be fun to try with my big old dog. Because it is kind of small for him. But it's going to be funny. Entertainment. Next I picked up these cup holders. Um, they're inflatable. I picked up this flamingo. And then this really cute seahorse. I don't know how well they'll hold up holding drinks, but if nothing else, they'll be really cute to watch float around the pool. There's that. I picked up this cute dinosaur by the Fuzzy Friends. And I just picked him up to put in the toy basket for our house here for all the kids that are going to be coming in and out here soon. As soon as all the little babies we have in our lives become a little older. I just thought he was really cute. I picked up a set of these cooking utensils. You get spoons, the prong forks, the spatula, the knife, the whisk, the meat thingamajigger, the strainer, and the ladle. I'm just going to put this back to go with um, a couple of the birthday bin toys. I have one um, Crayola, which is name brand, dry erase markers, chisel tip. Um, they only had it available in blue and black, but this is, it has the ink level indicator, so you can see how low your ink's getting. You see that? I thought that was cool. I bought these for work. So, they're calling it Twilight Sky and Little Black Dress. How cute are those names? So, there's that. All right, next, and in our final category... A final category, I promise, is phone accessories. Um, I picked up a new phone stand. This is a glitter and this really pretty aqua 
greeny color. I don't even know. But I picked this up. Um, I have one at work that's a, like a dusty rose pink. But it, I've had it for a while and it's kind of got worn down. So I just wanted to get this one. I thought it was pretty. Then I picked up this USB card charger and this really pretty purpley blue galaxy marble looking thing going on here. So I needed one for my car because I can't find mine. Then I picked up this 29.25 inch type C USB cable and this really pretty um, gray and white almost buffalo check looking thing like a gingham so there's that and then last i picked up this um type c cable but i picked it up because look how fun these colors are and it's the the rope kind so i just picked it up you know if they're a dollar or if they don't work great you know no big deal but, guys, that is it. We made it through this haul. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I welcome you into the family. I appreciate each and every single one of you. If this is your kind of thing, um, go ahead and uh, go over to Instagram and follow me at Cozy with Morgan too. Um, I tend to post there daily throughout the week of things I find at Dollar Tree, DIYs I do with stuff I purchased at Dollar Tree, all that good stuff. And with that, I hope each and every one of you have a great day, and I will see you at my next Dollar Tree. Bye!